Hello again, and today is another really happy day for me. Why? We've got more boxes to unpack. So this time it's not as, well, it's a smaller box, isn't it? So we're gonna have something that's less interesting in here, or are we? Well, let's have a look. So any guesses from just seeing this? Can you guess the release? Get in the comments now if you know what we've bought before we've actually unboxed it. And it's not gonna be a very complex unboxing this one, is it? There's just more boxes there, more rubbish there. And who have we bought it from? Again, it is the Whiskey Exchange. Again, not sponsored by the Whiskey Exchange. It's just that we were lucky enough to win the ballot for this bottle from their release. So what is the bottle? Have you had a guess? Boom, there we are. It is the Macallan Classic Cut 2022. Now, it's not really an expensive bottle of whiskey, this one. It's about £120 at retail. So let's first of all take a look at it. So the box itself is quite nice. Got some spot UV on there. It looks very similar to all of the other classic cuts. It obviously says limited 2022 edition. Limited in what way? Limited because the salespeople wanted to sell 20,000 of them or whatever they've released. So not necessarily that limited, but yes, I guess technically limited. And then the bottle, again, actually nicely bubble wrapped inside there to stop whiskey investors complaining that the label's got a scuff on it. And here is the bottle itself. It's quite attractive really, isn't it? Typical tour round for your Macallan. Typical plastic seal on there. This one's at 52.5% ABV. So yeah, you can't complain. It's, it's a nice bottle of whiskey. Now, some people are loony over the classic cuts. Why have I bought this? Well, because I was successful in the ballot and it was 120 pounds. But what is the Macallan Classic Cut? Well, I'm gonna read this and it's on the website. It says, an annual expression that celebrates its ongoing commitment to seeking out extraordinary drams and creating whiskey of character in the process. So basically, it's just a series of whiskey that changes all the time. I think that's the basic gist of this. It's different whiskey every year. It's interesting to see that it's a higher ABV than most Macallan releases. It's between 51 and 58% ABV. It doesn't say that it's natural cask strength, so it's likely that this is very young whiskey, you know, maybe three, five, eight years old, hence the higher ABV that's probably already been watered back to a point where the profile is really nice and interesting. Now, the series started in 2017 and there's been in a release every year since. The only thing that really changed is on the capsule. So on the first release, you get a red capsule and then all, all the subsequent releases, we get this, well, plastic capsule on there. And they've done really well as an investment Kind of, yeah. So the 2017 one, in October, there were 61 sales of the 2017 edition that ranged between £1,050 down to £650, which is, it's not bad, is it? 650 to 1050 But again, that was, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of them on the market. You know, 61 sales in a single month, what, five, six years after the original release is quite high. Now take the 2022 edition, 394 sales in October alone, and they were between 120 pounds and 200 pounds. So if you sold at 120 pounds, you, you, you broke even, you probably lost money in all honesty after auction fees and stuff. If you sold it for 200 pounds, fair dues, you've made 80 quid, but what, what difference is 80 quid gonna make? Selling these bottles or shorting these bottles like that to me makes no sense. You know, this is a bottle that's going to sit in my collection for the next five, maybe ten years. And if it can get any of the other subsequent releases, perfect. If I can make up the previous ones at a fair price, then absolutely perfect. But I'm not expecting anything meaningful on this bottle for the next sort of, well, good while. Now, a good way to look at these sorts of bottles, like buy them for your kids, you know. If you've got a five-year-old, buy them these, stick them in a little cupboard, hide them away, a very well-secured cupboard so that your teenage versions of your sons and daughters don't find them, and then look at them when they're 18. You know, there's something that's what really frustrates me about this market and collectors and investors at the moment, a certain portion of them, they just want instant returns. It's like they just want, bang, I want a triple, quadruple, I want this 120 pound bottle to go to a thousand, fifteen hundred pounds. It isn't gonna happen. You know, in, in you know, you've, Buying these bottles at RRP, it's a little bit like playing roulette. 
nobody knows how well they're going to perform on the market until they come out you know so you can't really strategically plan with these bottles of whiskey it's just no age statement whiskey with a nice label and an all right box if you want something that's going to probably not do as well in the shorter term but will probably do much better in the longer term look at our video about the probably the best whiskey investments of 2022 the glenn farkless 30 and 40 year old 550 and a thousand pounds for 30 and 40 year old single malt whiskey those bottles have got a lot more like they've got more foundations propping up and and, and pushing up those price or like propping up those prices now sure they're still available at rrp at retailers there isn't a crazy ballot to get hold of them they you could probably buy them a bit cheaper than rrp in some instances at auction if you're really that bothered about trying to save money but actually by the time you've put on your posting your insurance and your commission it's still cheaper to go and buy them at rrp they're going to be much better in the next 5 10 15 years if you're looking at that life child of your you know that lifetime investment for your child sort of thing so yeah i've bought a mccann classic cup I'm not expecting great things for it, but it's a good bottle to buy if you can be successful in the ballot because it's only 120 pounds. And in the scheme of whiskey investment, it's spinning the roulette wheel and hoping that it's gonna come good. And you know, it probably will at some point in the future. Now, have you got the classic cuts? What do you think about them? I know some people are really fanatical about them and we did only see these big jumps in that 2017, earlier this year. So what's happened in the market? Are you, who's out there? Is it you, you out there buying all of these and pushing the market prices up artificially? Who knows? Get in the comments below and let's get the conversation started.